when we look at Russia, India and China, mm-hmm. I would at least say that China is the uh, overwhelming economy sure. and military power. True. Uh, Russia has become, if not entirely, at least close to being subordinate to China. Absolutely. It may not be totally, but it's True. heading there. True. And its capacities are getting diminished. Mm-hmm. Chinese writings themselves, in fact, uh, there was an article by uh, their um, Chinese Institutes of Contemporary International Relations, right. which is the 11th Bureau of the Ministry of State Security. Mm. Uh, they have spoken about uh, Russia's uh, diminished capacity for innovation and production of defense hardware. Sure. So uh, everyone is noticing it. Mm. Now, in that position, what advantage do we get from an RIC or anything like that? Exactly. I don't see any. Mm. In fact, I would say that we are f- soon going to approach a time mm-hmm. when uh, the lines may be even more starkly drawn. Right. Uh, and we may have to uh, make a choice. Right. I don't see, as I said earlier, uh, China becoming friendly towards us no. for a long time. Yeah. Uh, at least till their objectives are met and we, of course, will not allow that. Yeah. Russia, well, it remains to be seen. It can't vanish. It's sure. a huge country. Yes. There's a lot of resources. Right. But what is this going to capacity going to be except for a very limited uh, purpose yeah uh, like everyone talks about the russian veto yes uh, but the kashmir issue is now being raised by the chinese also. exactly so um, i think we have to be very very careful of this ric etc we are in it sure but all right it can continue yeah we are in BRICS similarly where uh, the overwhelming power is china yeah none of the others absolutely so uh, what is the point in continuing in the organizations is something that we have to think about But uh, for the moment, I would say let it drift.